Sydney's northern beaches have never seen anything like it. Grand final fever on the grandest of scales. It was almost like the Beatles had arrived down under as many fans paid homage to their heroes. Just a few days earlier, the Mighty Eagles had captured Rugby League's Holy Grail by producing the perfect game of football when it mattered most. The trophy had come back to Brookie, where it belongs. Hi, I'm Luke Williamson, and this is the story of how we did it. The highlights of a magic season. But not even the Cougar can do it all by himself. I think I might need some help. I wonder who I can get. Who's around? Oh, Beaver! Beaver, come down. Come down and give us a hand with this DVD we got going. Go Beaver, go! G'day, mate. G'day, mate. Thanks for coming down. Happy to help out. What a magnificent year it's been for the club. I can't wait to see the highlights. OK, champion, let's do the Eagle Rock, as they call it, and introduce round one. Here's where it all started. Right. Former Melbourne teammate Stephen Bell also in on that oh. tackle. What about that? Get that into you. It was Josh Perry on Ben Ross. And it was a cracker. Oh, Perry, he's opened up. Ben Ross has not moved. I think they accidentally clashed heads. Just watch this as he comes over the top. Perry swinging the right arm over. I don't think there's an issue with that, but I think they've absolutely clashed his there. Bang! Oh. Right on the jaw and on the cheek. Ten metres out. Centre field. Orford wraps around the ruck. He's used as the dummy runner by Matt Ballon, who gets it off to Anthony Watmo. And Jock Watmo opens the Sea Eagles account for 2008. Great Louisville play here out of the dummy half area. Matt Ballon, we all thought they may have struggled with Michael Malnahan moving on. Yet to cross the strike, the Sharks. Out the back, there is a chance here. A long ball from Kamali. Williams. They keep it going to Goodwin, who scores in the corner. Expansive football from the visitors. Real strength of the Sharks is they've got several ball playing options with Gallon. A lot of offloads in his game. Greg Bird. Also, Kamali. Here's Reese Williams. Didn't have someone in his right pocket. Otherwise, they would have had points. Kamali, long ball. Seymour inside to Bird, the representative footballer. Carney! Carney holds on. Carney scores, and the Sharks increase their lead. This is where Orford is dangerous. Ten points the difference, Orford. The conductor trying to strike a chord here, trying to come up with something. Oh, Kamali, great tackle. Great tackle initially, Kamali, then Goodwin went on with it on his opposite number. Now to Orford, across field. Easy take for Bird. Oh, mate. I put the marker on him and here go the Eagles. Barney is in. And we've got a very sick shot in the background. It's Bird that's down. He was the one who tried to catch the ball. Here he's here. He lets the ball go. He just goes to grab there. And I'll, I'll toss another one up as Jamie Lyon knocked the ball forward there into Greg Bird. No try. The fans go up, Andy. They're not happy. And our first class blow up from the boys at Brookie. I love the passion in rugby league. It doesn't matter what ground you go to. He did lose the ball, but contact on Greg Burgos, who's affecting the tackle, was behind. That's where the penalty's for. And don't forget, next up on Super Saturday, it is the Newcastle Knights and the Canberra Raiders from Energy Australia Stadium. Manly moving the football side to side. Not a lot to go forward. Here go the Eagles into the corner. Michael Barney, he scores. Sixteen points to ten. Oh, 
10 seconds remaining. It is this play or nothing. Will they get another crack at it? Tight. Williamson. Menzies. Here goes Manley. Violetti Robertson. Robinson pumps it across field. It lands in the hands of Greg Bird. He puts it onto the hill. And the siren sounds. The Sharks fans are going berserk. They've won round one of the Battle of the Beaches. Cronulla 16 have defeated Manly 10. Only two line breaks to the Seagulls against Cronulla last start. Monster bomb coming down to the hands of Gidley. Orphan had a play at it, or did he? Matt Ballin is going to race away and put the ball across the line. Did Matt Orford, in challenging for the football, legitimately challenge, or did he not? Orford. Okay. You can see top of the screen there. Onside. I think he's onside, yeah. 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 There's no so, line there, but he... Uh, I stand Benefit corrected, the Junior. I, the I stand corrected. I've got the trainer mixed up for the halfback. So everyone's onside. Are we now looking at the challenge? The decision. It's coming finally. Well, I've got absolutely no idea how that's ruled a no-try. The Manly haven't really been in the field position to, to move the ball around or throw the ball around. It's been played mostly down in it, there into the field. Oh, this is awkward for Gidley. It's near the post. It's a spiral bump. He drops it and Jamie Lyon is there. Finally, we have a try. It has taken 34 minutes. But we have a try here at Newcastle. Searching around the ruck and a great one-on-one -on -one tackle from Watmo. There was four Eagles there, four of them on Danny Wicks, who scored last week. Menzies picks up the ball, pops it up. Luke Williamson's not going to have the legs. Michael Barney very well might, but here come the Knights. That is great cover defence, great from Wesley Guama, considering he's the centre on the other side of the field. And that's exactly where the Sea Eagles are going now. Do they go over the top? Do they go straight to the line? Orford goes straight, and that is a great tackle from Kurt Gidley. To the left is where there is space. Lyon sees it on the right and puts too much weight on the footy. It's a case of not visualising the ball being dead. It was always alive, and Kurt Gidley showed the necessary urgency. Ballon, short to Warford, across field. It's on, Stewart, inside to Barney, who scores! The Seagulls have posted their second try. As it goes to Jesse Royal, he has been... Heavily monitored tonight, especially his upper body. Gets a good offload going, Jesse. Giro, short ball and try for Newcastle. Very easy to Chris Houston. The former St George Illawarra Dragon scores for the Newcastle Knights for the first time. He has three teammates. Help him out. Inside run of the Knights are in! The Knights are in! 12 points to 10. We may be going to Golden Point. Gidley, flags go up, and the scores are locked at 12. We are playing for the Mal Really Shield. How would you like to be Brian Smith or Des Hasler riding through this one? So a change after a minute 40. They need fresh legs, and the Knights have got numbers. Ah, oh, leaving it behind is Mullen. Knock on is the call from Orford. Knock on is the call from the referee on Orford. Well, the big call here is, did he play at the football? Did Matt Orford play at the football? Or was he trying to affect the tackle? Well, yeah, I think the referee got it right. I think he was playing at the football. 
37 metres out, Baderas. Just a short little wrist ball there to Richie Feioso. The Knights are in the zone. Here is Scott Duro who hits it, likes it. The crowd goes up and the Newcastle Knights, they have stolen a victory. What a victory it was too. Well, B, there you have it. Two consecutive losses there to kick off our campaign. Yeah, that wasn't the start we were looking for, but you know what? Nobody panicked, and sure enough, we found some form. Well, you certainly did. Let's see how the Mighty Eagles bounce back with two convincing victories at Brookie Oval. I see, I would have penalised that. There you go. It's a vote each way in the box. Here's Menzies. A ball back on the inside for Stewart. A well worked play. Brett Stewart breaks his duck for 2,000 and dates. And Manly on the board first on Monday Night Football. A simple play from the scrum, but the Warriors were asleep. Well, the Warriors are out in their feet. That was just what they didn't need. Someone coming up with an error after they received possession. Here it is. Just a little inside play. Brett Stewart on the back of the scrum. Menzies turns him back inside. He juggled it, hung on to it, played it quickly. Here's Ballon getting out of dummy half. An offload, they keep it alive from Orford. It goes to Stewart, the offloads, the order of the night again here for Manly. They lead the NRL in that category after two rounds. Here's Bell, got a ball from Pite. He comes to Williamson. It is hot potato stuff as they take it inside the 20. Looking to crack the Warriors for the second time tonight. Williamson will play it. Ballon back to Orford. He grubbers again for the end goal. His kicking has been good so far. They let this one go as well. Rosen got to it, but he put the ball down over the line. It looked like it was going to roll dead, but Robertson has split the players, the Warriors players who are waiting. I'll tell you what, on that angle there, he scored a try. Here it is again. Watching it live, it looked as though it was beyond the dead ball line. There's the put down, knee inside the line, and the ball makes contact with the turf. And Michael Robertson, the bearded one, has broken his drought. Perry playing it for Bell. Goes to Orphan once more. An early ball again for Lyon. Like his chances against Tate. Drew one, got it to Robertson, who dashes for the corner. And just like that, he has a double. Sonny fires out there. It's his first touch tonight, a chance just before half-time. 19-year-old second rower, got his chance in the big time last week against the Eels. Now Orford gets a ball, an absolute bonus. I don't know what's happened to the Warriors. They decided to keep it alive. With every chance they get, spreading the ball inside their own 20. Here they are, just outside the Warriors' 30. Bryant will play it. Ballon to Orford, who grubbers in behind that of my Here's Michael Barney towing it forward. He picked it up in the end goal, and I think that might be a try. His foot or knock on Well, I don't think he did. It seemed as though it touched his right foot twice, and the second kick propelled it into the end goal area. On that angle there, I'm saying green lights. Here's Williamson, being manhandled to the ground there. It was Milwaukee. Now Orford goes to White Mo. First man ball, he reaches down and scores. Everybody getting a four pointer tonight. Been busy. He has been. Done a good job though. Here's Orford kicking early in the tackle count this time for Bell. And also Barney and Stewart is flying. Danny Vai is there. Barney has come up with it. And Manly have the ball. It's play on a metre away from the line. Here's Stewart showing it. He goes himself. He dives over. He gets his second of the night. And we have a rout on our hands here at Brookie. Gets it down to within a metre of the line. Lestrange goes to Warford. Gives it to what? No. Step straight through them. He'll get his second. Well, that was just way too easy. They were thinking second man, and when I went it to Orford, they stopped on their heels, and he just twinkled toed his way through the line. Well, 
They shouldn't have been thinking second man because Anthony Watmo scored a try only five minutes ago. They'll go inside the 20 and play it here with plenty of tackles up their sleeve. Lestrange showing it a number of times before he gives it to Stewart looking for a hat trick. Oh, ball around the corner. There is a hat trick, but it's Abraham Lincoln who gets it. Michael Robertson, three tries. Keep the bin, Michael. Don't oh. shave it off now. Oh, he might have to. It's an ordinary look. But their ball control, it, it, it's just impossible to try and win a game. Now Tate puts it down, a chance for Manley on the counter-attack from what moment went to Williamson. Back to Lyon and to Brett Stewart. You can put the glasses down as they say in the classics. There it is. Another hat-trick for the Seagulls on Monday Night Football. It was quick, it was decisive. And the moment they found the speedster, it was all over. 43 tries in 44 games here at Brookie. So Manly attack 10 metres out and up comes Perry. He has given the treatment. Well, I'm pretty sure he was trying to make a tackle there. Roy Azatazi. And that was a standing start for Azatazi. He came to him, he didn't go forward to meet. Rattled him under the armpits. Now Ballon for Orford. Switch of play, shows it to Perry. Stewart there, along for Lyon. Starting up Talanoa. Lyon is over for the Seagulls. And it's pretty soft. In fact, it's very soft from the Rabbitohs close to their goal line. And Manly do what they're so good at doing, and that's scoring the first try in the match. It's 4 2. Stewart's got the ball. He's 19 metres away from the line. Big set here for South Sydney to hold out the Seagulls. Orford right up to the line. Right for Stephen Bell. Inside for Barty. There is Benji. And some scramble this time from South Sydney. Last tackle. And those out on the left side are screaming for a high ball to come their way. Orford decides to kick low. Big Last tackle has certainly won the race, Brownie. but Shane Hayne wants to check it with video ref Steve Clark. But Adams just giving you the nod. I scored it, fellas. It's Manley's second try. Just have a look at the stupidity of the of the corner post rule down in this northwestern corner. Look at the corner post there. That's our that's our pillar of decision making. Man. <laughs> so now Sydney have failed to find touch. Oh dear. I don't have a corner post as their halfback. Here's Brett Stewart. He's gone straight through. The Prince is away. Oh, he's got another one! And he's put a little bit of tinsel on a tree that has lacked decoration here at Brookvale today. South failed to find touch, and Stewart has run 55 metres to score. He's now got nine tries in the last six matches against South, and his stats are phenomenal here. 44 tries in the last 45 games. What about the snake? He can sniff out a try, can't he? Well, it took me 16 years to score 180. He's nearly halfway there. He's going to score 1,000. Unfortunately, though, not even Snaky Stewart could crack Melbourne's defence in the grand final rematch. Manly have conceded one try in the last 170 minutes of football. Here comes Inglis. Going back for Slater. Slater gets away from Bell. Smith, attack, Trump, to Hoffman, oh, he's just gone straight through. Hoffman scores for Melbourne. So Manly get the penalty. Or should I say another six tackles? Might be a better way to describe it, Stewart. Menzies, Menzies, floats it. Barney, Barney on his right, he's over, he's in to score. Michael Barney, that's got to be a try, surely. Well, not a good night down in Melbourne, but I think it might have helped us in the long run. It just showed how much ground we needed to make up on the Melbourne Storm. Well, the good thing is, mate, we bounced back from that with four straight victories, starting off with our fierce rivals in the NRL's Heritage Round. Bit of a 
boo from the crowd. Of course, everybody is familiar with the Jamie Lyon departure from Parramatta to Manly via St Helens. Still holds the club try scoring record for most tries in the game against Cronulla. And here's a nice pass being made by Perry. He finds Steve Menzies. Menzies passes to a call from Groth. And Groth turns defence into attack. Chops away from Stewart. Passes it's gone to ground. It's picked up by Barney. He scores another try. That's his fifth try in six weekends of football. Michael Barney. And here's Barney. And the try scorer is tackled in the centre of the ground, just outside the 20 metre line. Struggles to get up. Kale is lying on top of him. Orford then crosses the 20, puts a little kick in. Looking for Robertson, looking for a mistake from Grove, and I think they've found a try. Robertson, I think he's got downward pressure on it. They'll check everything. Grove has a tendency to come up and come in. Well, it's already been awarded, Ray. He's he, given it without going. He's pointed to the spot, and, and it's quite bizarre because Eric Graith, I thought, had this well and truly covered. Just inside the 20 metre line. Opposition into the ground. Lestrange putting some plays together from Dummy Half. Out to the West. Stewart now. Stewart's out to Dummy. Goes himself another try. Another try for Brett Stewart. Fifth tackle now for Parramatta. The kick is on. It's going to go to Mateo's boot. He puts the shot in. And oh, Luke Burke! He's come from nowhere. He's jumped out of the ground. And he's put it down for a try that has been given. He's pointed to the spot. It's 14 all after an hour. Ballon again. Off it again. Back for Glenn Stewart. Here's a try for Lestrange. Heath Lestrange has scored. The Parramatta Junior has scored what might be the match-winning try for Manly. Here's Jason King only a couple of metres away. Fallon from Dummy Hart goes to Luke Williamson. He shows it and goes himself. He's almost through. Stopped, but only just. They're hanging on the Bulldogs. They got some help the first time around through the Orphan no try. But they're a metre away still here, Manly. Trying to crack them. Perry will play it. Ballon. Pineapples a pass to Warford. He gives it to Glenn Stewart. Spins away from one and from two. And gets the ball down. And there will be no doubt this time. They're delirious at Brookvale Oval. Here's Perry. Playing at 15 away, they're on a roll. Ballon going a long way from dummy half. Stopped there by Lee Tamari with Hickey over the top. They take their chances again. No call this time from the referee. Orford goes to Jamie Lyon on the angle. Stewart to Bell, they're in again. Terrific hands by the Seagulls to the right hand side. And we're back where we began. All locked up, it's 10 all this time. Terrific work, Jamie Lyon on the angle at speed. Yeah, what a sight he was. Great, wasn't it? Hickey and Sumos there, Justin Sumos on the field for Steve Folks as Ballon goes back to Lyon to put the kick away again this time on that left-hand side of the field. Matai back to the in-goal area, picking it up. He sees a pretty good chase team led by Matai and also Robertson. And now Kearney back into the in-goal area as well. Six more tackles for the Sea Eagles. They like their chances against the Bulldogs' left edge. Here they go again, Orford, putting it high. Back towards the middle for Stewart! Stewart is chasing this time! What a catch and what a try! He makes it 45 in 46 here at Brookvale. That's the Brett Stewart they've come to know and love in the Northern Beaches. Magnificent rugby league, what a kick by Orford and a catch by Stewart. Well, 45, none more special than that. That was absolutely precision from Matt Orford. Gave it enough height, running across. This will be the fifth. Orford, he goes to King. A very flat manly, but Hall steps inside them and will get across the line. He might have scored. Last one, mate, checking a possible double movement. He'll play it here at the 30 metre line. Oh, the try scorer bumping away from tacklers. 
He beat Hickey and almost got away from Warburton as well. And now Warburton to Glenn Stewart. Wrapping quickly. Stephen Bell through a hole. Stopped only just by Brent Crisp. Stewart to Warford. Turns it back for Josh Perry. He'll go close as well. They're half a metre away. Orford again to Cuthbertson. He'll find the line. And he does. Gets across the line. Orford. Line. Menzies lurking. Here's Kite. Into a little bit of space. And I thought Kemp was going to intercept, but he was only looking at Glenn Stewart. And Bell flung the ground by Joel Moon. Last tackle here for Manly. Jamie Lyon now with the kick. It's a cross field to the wing of Robinson. And Robertson is there. Robertson takes it out of the hands of Robinson and will score the try. It was a nothing kick, but he stole that one, Michael Robertson. I thought Reese Robinson had it covered, but Manly, they needed that. They're on the board. It's 10 4 with a kick to come. Lestrange to Lyon. Lyon now to Glenn Stewart. Run around with Jamie Lyon. Pops the ball to Bell. Bell steps out of the tackle of Moon and scores. Manly could level it up here shortly. And it was good gap running. And Jamie Lyon was involved again. But Steve Bell scored the try. It's 12-10 with a kick to come. Stewart, Lyon, back to Orford. Now to Kite. Gives it to Menzies. Menzies tries to get away. Standing offloads back to Kite. Over the top. Awkward bounce there for Robertson. He gets away. No, he doesn't from Robinson. They shouldn't be allowed to be marked up against each other. We've also got Williams and Williamson. Here's Cuthbertson. Back to Orford. Orford then to Menzies into space. And Stephen Menzies can score a try and has. And Manley, who are 10 0 down, now leads 16 12 with a kick to come. Can you believe it? Well, yes, I can. Manly, they're starting to wear them down. They're going up the middle. They're asking questions. They're dinting the line. Little short plays in the change of passing. Cuthbertson, Beaver, how many times has he done this? Steve Menzies. 20 metres away now. Lestrange to Brent Kite into a yawning gap. And Manly are in. The Australian front rower has scored his first try of the season. And that may be the try that gives Manly the two competition points. Manly 22, Brisbane 12 with a kick to come. But did they throw the game plan out at half time? The first half they were trying to go around them. Matt Orford right in front. Brent Kite's running the decoy, comes back to Orford. He's going to kick across field. It's going to be too deep, is it? Robertson and Robinson. Staggs lost it. And Brett Stewart, he can score a try, can't he? Was it knocked on by Robertson or was it Robinson? And as Brett Stewart scored himself another try, and as Manly sealed it... This is the best angle. I thought it went back. That's gone back. I'm happy for it to be a try. I don't think the Brisbane fans will be happy. No doubt about it, Booth. That was one of our best displays of the season. Not many sides put 30 points on the Broncos up there at Suncorp. Yeah, well, it was Mother's Day and we had to do something special for our mums, don't we? Well, of course. And it was good to see the Beaver finally get his first meet by the season. Yeah, it only took nine rounds. I was starting to worry a little bit there, but um, better late than never. Keith Lestrange getting ready to come on two for Manly. And so Ballon has a dart from that acting half. Maybe his last bit of play as the number 18 gets ready. Bryant now to Warford, it opens up for him, he goes through, what about the pick up there from Jamie Lyon, David Williams, he's lost the football, he was about to score his first try in first grade and Ben Harris came up with a try saver. They keep hammering away here manly but there's no way through at the moment, six and a half out from half time, Orford, now back to Kite, one arm free, back to Lestrange, He's away. Ball to Cuthbertson. Now they're in Manly. They finally break the Cowboys. They could hold on no longer. And Adam Cuthbertson, the man who's been the most...
dangerous player on the field, gets the first try. Right on half time here too for North Queensland to try and hold on. Lestrange out of acting half. Then to Cuthbertson, short ball, and Cuthbertson has got himself a double in the space of a couple of minutes. Two out from half time, and Manly now lead 10 0 with a kick to come for the Cowboys. It's deja vu. He's offered with a little kick. Jamie Lyon chases, gets a beautiful bounce, and now David Williams will get his first try in first grade. Jamie Lyon with a superb ball after the kick. We're going to check upstairs with Russell Smith. Go to the kettle, put it on, and settle back. Kicking along the ground. Here comes Justin Smith. What will get him, Willie? Really? Yes, he does. What a terrific chase. What a terrific tackle. But Manly on the attack, the Cowboys at sixes and seven. About 15 away from the goal line. Another set here for Manly. It comes to Perry. Perry runs at Watts. He runs straight through him. And Manly are in. And that may be the ball game. Last tackle for Manly. Menzies at first receiver, Orford reaching, kicking back for Robertson. It's there, did he get there first? I think he may have. Lestrange, Orford, here's Robertson. Cuthbertson, he's looking for a hat trick. He's only a metre away. Abraham with yet another tackle. Last tackle here for Manley. Orford to the line, kicking. Manai's waiting. He can't get it, but Nick Bradley gets who's been one of Manley's best on the wing, gets himself a try. So he play the ball, Williamson Orford to the line, held into space, back on the inside, Robertson gets himself a double, and Manley finished with another try, their seventh of the game. It is now embarrassing for the Cowboys, 36-6 with a kick to go. After four wins in a row, Manly's march came to a halt against the Dragons, who snuck home in a thriller. Waiting was Webb, played back for Dean Young, he uses Webb as a, a decoy runner. Now Hornby! And Hornby was pulled down 18 metres away from the Manly line. Good tackle, Perry. It was a good tackle by the big front row forward, Josh Perry. Here's Dean Young pushing away a couple of times. Sowett gets it on, Webb gets it away. Now it's up to Bo Scott. Scott. Scott will score! Oh, that's awful defence from Manly. That was jumper-grabbing stuff. It was also Anthony Watmo, Ray, and I've watched him since he got hurt in that tackle, and he's been very unsteady on his feet. Ten metres out, right in the centre of the ground. Ballon picks up Perry. Perry! Doesn't worry about the fact that he's got Menzies running off his hip. He'll play the ball four metres out from the line. Tackled by Bo Scott. Good pass, Ballon. Short from Orford. Run around Orford through Stewart. Now to Brett Stewart. Brett Stewart looking for 78. Flick passes. The winger has gone in, David oh, Williams. But Brett Stewart put a stamp on this. I thought it was 78 for him, but he's put a pass as away that the David Williams has caught. Now, has he got it down correctly? I don't know. Well, the only thing Manny are looking for is a conversion to be taken. Josh Morris it is, the number five. Nightingale goes back for the kick from Soward. Left foot kick, not bad. Pretty good, actually. Just into the field of play. Robertson scored the try. That could be a try. And it will be scored by Ben Hornby. He will play it back to Big Mark Bryan. Goes behind Cuthbertson, goes to Orford. And then it goes out to Menzies. Menzies will score. Stephen Menzies from a tape up to score yet another try. And at the end of a self-destruction from the Dragons, it absolutely show no control with the football, and you're going to get hurt, and Manly, they are just the team to hurt you. Tackle five. Rangy Chase. Jamie Sow puts in a little left foot kick. Stewart underneath it. So are the Dragons. It's loose. It's there. Nightingale. And Clyde is put down. He was saved by Stuart Rebel on that occasion. Came up with a tackle on Robertson. On the last now. Strange. To Orford. Behind Williamson. Here's Brett Stewart. Now Menzies looks for number two tonight. Oh, he's lost the ball. 
A breach in goal by the attacking side. Sees it go back to the 20. Wow. Runs into the tackle there with Justin Poole down low and Stuart Webb up the top. Here is Lestrange. Back for Williamson. Williamson's tackled. Three metres out from the line. Sideways shot there, showing you just how close they are. Now it's on for Orford. He kicks over to Stanley and Robertson will score. And Stanley seemingly has gone missing again in that contest. He's made some decisions in the last five minutes and none of them have been right. Williamson, an assist in the tackle, played by Lyon. Williamson. Orford on the 30, takes the tackle of Hornby, gets it back to Stewart. And Stewart's kick has gone straight across the ground. And Matai marks it, gets rid of the ball. Robertson up the ground, puts in a little kick. And oh, Stewart's had a dive at it. Sorry, he Charles. thinks he might have got a try out of it, Brett Stewart. It was almost impossible to keep up with it. Who kicked it last? Who touched it last? Who's in front of who? Well, he kicked it first. So he's done a great job to get down there. It looks as though he's bobbled this. It was a nothing kick there. It was two nothing kicks. You've got to be wary of the second kick, particularly when they're shockers. And now both Scott will try to have a go at it. Nah, no try there. He's knocked that down. Yep. 20 metres out from the man the line. His chase showing it to Riles. The run around with Young out to Salad. Salad to Morris. Josh Morris. Big step inside ball, his brother has scored Brett Morris. Josh got it back perfectly to brother Brett. And the Dragons are at 18 all, kick to come with five minutes to go in the game. Salad, he's done the jazz waltz. He hits it, he hits it. I like it, yes, it's there. I was about to call it early. And everybody had a sock and trying to put it in my mouth. It was over the black dot. Well, we hate losing anywhere, but especially here on our home soil. Certainly do, Willow. We pride ourselves on a great record here at Fortress Brookie, and that day we only had ourselves to blame. Beef, remember the spray that Des gave us afterwards? It was a pretty good one. Yeah, he certainly didn't hold back, and rightfully so. He can get pretty fired up, your old man, can't he? Yes, he can, but it must have worked because we came out seven days later and beat the Raiders in Canberra, which is never an easy thing to do, especially after having Cutbo set off in the first half. Bumbles there with Tills, and that is tackle four. Five minutes from the line, Ballard has another go after. Well held by the Raiders' defence, and it is the last tackle. They're screaming for it out on the right side. Menzies wants to kick his way. Orford goes back to the left side. Milner's yeah. there. Robertson's got it. Robertson has got it down for the Seagulls. Last tackle. He loves it. We're just checking the onside in the ground again. I reckon Michael Robertson is absolutely sure he scored the try. One of those former Raiders. Five minutes away from the line. Ballard, Orford, on the 10. Held it there for Menzies. Dummies to no one. Now to matter. Here goes Robertson. He's got one already. Robertson now headed towards the sideline. Oh, you've got to admire this defence of Canberra. It's all the local fans have had to cheer for. Now Orford, 12 metres out. They go the bomb again. Paul turns underneath it. It's batted back from early. They've come down on the try line. It's and it's up to video referee Paul Sipkins to determine if Matty Ballin has scored the try. That one has gone back from both players. Can't see a knock on there at all. He doesn't get it down the first time, I don't believe, Ballant. But now we'll roll it over, and that's good enough. You're right. Okay. 10 0 scoreline here at Canberra Stadium. Raiders had their best chance of the match. Oh, and there's a high tackle. It was a clip. Maybe a little more than that from Cuthbertson. The Raider is still on the deck. Cuthbertson wants to check him. That was very clumsy. Clumsy yeah, it's out clear. It is. Troy Thompson. It's not a send-off offence, I don't believe. All right, mate, you've hit him close, you're off. Oh, well, there you go, oh, short yeah. Hampstead. That is succinct. That is straight to the point. And Adam Cuthbertson 
is sent from the field here at Canberra Stadium, nine and a half minutes out from half time. Well, he's having a terrific game. Kite's ready to come back on. Perry and Ballard really impressed tonight. Here's Perry again. Got a problem with a Canberra player out there at the moment. Just can't pick him up as often. Into a gap. Right, 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 scores. Post. They've left Goodwin behind and Wombo slides in for the try. It's Buttress back downfield in trouble. 35 metres out. But he hopped onto the Hume Highway there, Anthony Wombo. Hall will play 29 metres out from the line. Now with Lestrange, the pass without looking to Menzies, to Mano. Mano's tried to step away from Monaghan. That's a big moment in this match, Stevie Mano. Left footstep, left footstep, march to the try line. And the lead is back to 10. Wow. Steve Maddai, noted defender, strong runner of the football. But have a look at the, the two left foot steps. Now they're set up for Matt Orford right in front. Alan Tung needs to get out a second marker. Orford for right in front. That's perfect execution. 13 point lead. Beautiful stuff, Manly. So many little moments in this match. Bronx Goodwin bomb try after half time. That was the big one, wasn't it? The 12 oh, minutes. Here's a chance Beaver. for Menzies. Try 170. The Beaver has turned it through twice. He gets it. And now Sean Hampstead asks twice, did he get it down? He just gives it to him. 170 tries for the mighty Beaver Menzies. Yeah, good on you. Yeah, mate, it was just a great effort. Obviously, we, we got uh, Cuffbow sent early, and, you know, it was uphill battle. But to the boys' credit, you know, they just kept defending all night and mate that, that's a massive win and just shows what character we do have in this team if you thought that was a great performance then what about the next one a 42 nil thrashing of the sydney roosters they must have nightmares every time they visit the northern beaches and Fallon, a dummy there to lion okay nearly was called out by the referee hayne and then robertson with a right foot step well tackled by anasta but they're only 10 meters out Steve Bell straightens up. Steve Bell is over for Manly. That's too easy against the Roosters who have defended so well this season. Bell through traffic, weaved his way over. And there are a few players better in traffic than Steve Bell, State of Origin representative, and he made that look very easy. He's only 18 metres away from the line. Manly. On fire here for Perry. Is tackled by Orbison. Got it back for Ballard. Now for Orford. Orford a dummy. There's Bell. He's got a double. The bell rings twice. It may ring three or four times. Even before half time. It's 10-0. The Seagulls in full flight. And forced to play it five minutes out. Lyon there is a cut out again. Williams this time. On second bounce goes over. Brent Gross moved up. Anasta couldn't cut it off. That's the play. Just didn't bounce it off the previous one. On the 40 metre line, Roosters end of the field. Lestrange and Orford for Perry. Then lovely play through the centre. Menzies with a step. And then it is with Lyon, then a flick to Orford. Oh. Orford will go over for Manly. Three of their big guns. Menzies. Lions, Orford, it's 18 mil try of the day. And their first three tries might have been just reasonably ordinary affairs, but this is one out of the box. And started by Josh Perry, who's been outstanding this afternoon. There's been no great opportunity for any dynamic attack from the Roosters today. Sean Kenny down across field and then intercepted. He's under the highway, Jamie Lyon. He got a green line. Green passage all the way through. Now five inside their own half. Orford, oh, quick hands, line, they're away again. Robertson, Menzies there, got a low ball. Still held on to it. Back for Wombo. They've gone down the highway again. Straight up the centre. That's the way to go here at Brookvale. You talk about the centre third. What about the centre metre? That's the way to go. Uh, now we're seeing some attacking football. All the damage done for the opposition in the first half. Manly weren't at their best, but the Roosters, well, they did their best to play themselves out of the contest. 
there's another good tackle, this time James Orbison. Manly five out. Orphan, he's got Menzies there, Menzies with the ball. Kept it alive, back for Matt Orphan. Orphan, one-handed pass, Nick Bradley Galileo goes over. They were slipping and sliding and there's three roosters left behind in the barn. And the Fox is away. <laughs> You'll find there's four, I reckon, Bossy. There were that many of them down there. And no one's trying to do the wrong thing. Well, they only got penalised because he passed it. If he doesn't pass it, they let him go. Let's play on. Now line kicks, and he goes Williams again. He's got it on top. Can he now this time? Williams has got there. A great effort there by the Wolfman to win the race of the ball, and that made the final score 42-0. Another one of those truly magnificent days at my beloved Brookie. That eight-try romp gave our for and against a healthy boost and ensured we'd be on top of the table at the competition's halfway mark. There were five teams equal on 18 points, but Manly enjoyed top spot on percentages. Our next two points came from the bye, and then it was off to Auckland, where we had a really tough time against the Warriors. Look out for the Beaver, midway through the opening stanza. This is NRL Sunday, our first instalment coming to you from the City of Sales. Mount Smart Stadium's the venue. Glenn Stewart, line, Brett Stewart, Brett Stewart looking dangerous, and Stewart, did he get the ball over the line or did he cough it up? They will check the tape. So Bell's your player onto Fien. And the obstruction must have been signed off, so now checking the grounding, and that looks good. Or can they make the Warriors pay? Lyon goes to Matai, now to Stewart. They're looking dangerous. Robertson hits the accelerator and plants it in the corner. Has he got it down? Not much room to work with. To me, I think he's just got it marginally down. As we see the ball being placed. Now, there, I think he microseconds gets it down. Great finish. Normally on the left-hand side, you lead with your left hand when you're putting it down in an outstretched position. He does it with his right hand and therefore gets his body between the flag. No try, no try. Manly is denied. Bright plays it back. Perry hits it up. Four metres, shy of the goal line. Lestrange crabbing across the ground. And Glenn Stewart surges to the try line gets the reward and gets Manly in front in Auckland. Manly on the back of the penalty, they turn down the two points, they get four, it will soon be six. Battle stations now for the Eagles. 12 gone, second stanza, and the kick from Fiend has been picked up by Vatolino. Mannering throws the dummy, and they are fooled. Hook, line and sinker, and Simon Mannering has locked up the ball game. Taken by his opposite number in Josh Perry. On the last, Fane with the kick. Pressure on Williams. Kirk's got the ball. Kirk's got the try. Kirk has put the Warriors back in the lead. Matt I seemingly playing in some pain. Lyon back to Kite. Kite sucks them in. Three of them. Four metres away is Brent Kite. He'll plant back for Ballon. Ballon goes himself and he steals four points. As easy as you like. And the Warriors' flimsy defence has been exposed once more. At the back end of the game, Manly set to regain the lead. The clock continues to tick away. Four minutes remaining. Matt Ballon from dummy half goes to Warford. Comes the left side. Manzi's back on the inside and Brent Kite says thank you very much and that will ice the victory for the Manly Seagulls. Kite goes bang to put the Warriors out of their misery. Oh, that's just poetry in motion. Yeah, good was it? Oh, mate, seeing the big fella cross the white line and seal the victory for the Manly boys, outstanding. Next game, we headed back up to Gosford to take on the Knights. Well, I don't remember too much about that game, Beef. I actually fractured my ice socket, and I believe you came on for me. I'm not too sure, but let's go to the videotape and have a look. Hey. 
Here's Luke Williamson out to Steve Maddai. Pulling Barney on the inside, going himself. And got around the tackle of James McManus. A rare miss for the right winger from Newcastle. All for tracks across field. Straighton's looking for support. Now, this is the last tackle. They'll go to Jamie Lyon. He goes to the air, crossing field, looking for Stephen Bell. Taken by the Eagles, promoted by the Eagles. It's a try for the Eagles and David Williams. The bearded one scores on the right flank. Advantage Manly. Crossfield Orford. Menzies. Matai, the Eagles are in. That is a world move to perfection. It's an abbreviated version of the Des Hasler Pet play. Instead of using the block runner or the decoy runner out front, they've gone far deeper. Ballon out a dummy half, trying to get the markers for not being straight, but Matt Hilda certainly was. Here is Perry, promoting the ball to Orford. Now on to Menzies, inside to Matt I. Beats one, beats two, beats three! Anthony Watmo! Denied first half, scores in the second half, and the Eagles extend their lead. Back to the number seven, pivotal in every play the Eagles have got. Lyon now, Stewart inside to Bell, steps one. Tries to step around the other, can't get past Jesse Royal. Orford, short ball, Jamie Lyon scores! Let's go down to the sideline, Scott Sattler. Yeah, Andy, I know it's been possession that's got them in this position. Here is Bell, sidesteps to Guama! Great try for the Eagles, a win for the Eagles. They remain the top position on the NRL ladder. After Auckland and Gosford, our next destination was the Gold Coast. Yeah, didn't we clock up some miles in the middle of the season there? We certainly did, big fella. And luckily enough for me and you, we have our special pensioners concession cards and we get the travel on cheap these days. Yeah, it's a fair call, but I noticed you did have a little bit of trouble there um, getting your Zimmer frame on and off the, uh, the buses and planes. Well, not to worry, at least we got the win. There's Steve Menzies. He'll play 337 first grade games tonight and will take him about right second behind Terry Lamb on 349. And if he plays in the eight remaining premiership matches, and Manly reached the grand final, playing four in the final series games. He will equal Terry Lamb's record. That's tackle number one. Three away from the line. Jamie Lyon. Josh Perry came in. I don't think he expected it. There's been a couple of very dubious Manly players. Now Ballon, now Stewart, now Bell. Bell has another go. He wants to feel it. Still going forward, and you think there the, the ball has touched the ground. May well be a ref's call. He's done exceptionally well. That is not easy to put it down over the back of your shoulder like that. That's his 89th try. Not a lot of game time Wednesday. Ballon again, Orford. Friend up out of the line, Davis angled in, he beat them both. Menzies dummy steps your score, Menzies. He's done it again. This champion try scorer, this wonderful ambassador for the game of rugby league and manly has scored another try. Yes, and if you rush up in defense, you've got to make the tackle. Nathan Friend was the number one defender. He raced up, missed the tackle. And Mark. Minicello playing the ball for Friend. Little dummy, then a give, and oh, the Frankie! Yeah. He goes through for his second try of the night. That levels up the most number of tries scored by a Titan in the two years. Or is he one in front? Some of the offloading from the Titans is really causing some problems for the opposition. Gold Coast have had 4% overall better. Here's Robertson! Oh, 
top shot at goal. Good work by Williams. Excellent work, Manly. And uh, also a big effort by Nathan Fred. It was all round. David Williams gets his sixth of the year. And he's gone all the way just through power. Runs straight into one defender in Luke O'Dwyer. Bumps him off. And it was open space. Manly winning their scrum. And here's Menzies. He's into open space. Nobody in front of him. Here comes Mr. Magic. Stewart's away. Look at the chase from Bowen. Bowen wearing him down, but not quickly enough. And Stewart scores his third try against the Titans over the two-year period. And away they went to double the score of the Titans. 28 plays 14. What and Perry combining. Perry went over the top of the defender like a front end loader. Lyon gets it on. Off it with a flick pass. Here's Stewart again. He's going over for another double. He scored a double against them last year. And he's done it again tonight. Brett Stewart from Manly. Takes him up to 180 tries now. We've had a wonderfully entertaining night tonight. And that is the icing on the cake. That is a superb Manly try. Josh Perry, strength here, one-on-one, -on -one, gets rid of him. Jamie Lyon, step, step, comes back inside. Perfect pass to Orford, and then the Benji Marshall flick. And Brett Stewart races across. Disappointment on Wednesday night, but he'll feel better about things after this performance. Well, what about the old Beaver? Turning back the clock with a vintage display? I think I enjoyed that game. Although I didn't have the legs to go all the way, and uh, lucky the snake, he was there to finish it off. And if not mistaken, I believe that was your last official man of the match. It was. Uh, I've still got the check. It's stuck to the fridge, and I might keep it there for the, uh, for the grandkids. Oh, why not? Our next opponents were the Sharkies, and we were pretty fired up for this one after they outmuscled us in the opening round. Fortunately, we started this game by the end of the one against the Gold Coast. He looked to spit it back, thought against it on the final tackle. Ballon. Ballon, too easy! Manly score on the four-minute mark. I know they're intense, the Manly Seagulls at the moment, but I like the way the composure of the Sharks are also, also displaying. Spiral bomb from Jamie Lyon, allowed to bounce! And into the hands of Talia Papa. Oh, Talia Papa pops it out the back, right into the arms of Steve Maddai. And the Sharks are on their heels. A brain snap and a try, perhaps. It is. And it's big Josh Perry. Tackle number two, 20 metres out to Orford. Dummies, second ball to line. Now to Glenn Stewart, back to Jamie Lyon. On to Stephen Bell. It's on again. And again, it's Brett Stewart. Three tries in 18 minutes. It is all the Eagles. And you love it when a plan comes off. The right-hand side, Glenn Stewart and Matty Orford have been using the old runaway runaround player a lot, quite extensively this season. And you see it again here. Jason King playing the ball back to Ballon, who crabs a crossfield to link with Glenn Stewart, who goes straight through the middle. That is try number four. That's good footwork from Glenn Stewart. Good work from Manly also. They've been turning a lot of balls under, trying to get the fatigued Sharks forwards. Not coming up square, not coming up straight, not shutting the gate. The Rabbits and the Eels immediately following this clash at Toyota. Matt Eye on the foot. And try! Missy Talia Papa was simply beaten for Ross. pace. De Goyes and Ross combining on the 13 metre mark to bring down big Mark Bryant. Plenty of kilos there as Kamali goes off his right hip to Lyon to Stewart. Glenn Stewart looking for his second of the night and he finds it. What a performance from the Sea Eagles this has been. And with 20 minutes remaining, it's not over.
It's, uh, it's pretty daunting coming uh, out of the shy for a game. You know, the crowd always gets behind their team, and you know uh, we come out and sort of completed a lot of sets early, and um, you know disappointing finish for us. A lot of drop ball, but I think uh, we got the job done early. After six weeks on the road, we finally returned to Fortress Brookvale for the duel with Para in round 19. I must admit, I was starting to get a bit homesick there at one stage, but for our diehard fans, it was worth the wait because Brett Stewart produced one of the most freakish passes I've ever seen. And you were also captain that night. Yeah, well, you can't forget that either. Robinson having no part of it puts him away. They go to the blind side for Ballon to Jamie Lyons. Short for Watmo to go over and put the ball down, but it's gone forward. Wow. There wasn't much in that. They should have scored on the previous play. <laughs> well, here's the opportunity for Manly, boys. Yeah, there's if a shot, of the, shot of the emergency oh, board, too, before we lose it. Oh, King. Just come back from injury. That's devastating. But if Manly don't get points here, they'll really start to get twitchy. Ballon away. Here's Perry, who's been in good form. Brent Kite through an opening, a shoulder, and then a charge at the line. Kite will play the ball for Ballon. Ballon open side. Robson. Robson inside ball. Glenn Stewart is the man tackled. And he plays it to Ballon, who'll go in. Ballon's over to score, I fancy. Shane Hayne will point to the spot. It's a manly try, scored by Manny Ballon, and within close proximity to the uprights. That's an important one for the Sea Eagles. It's not pretty. It's just a little barge over from dummy half, but they'll take the points any way they can get them tonight. He's about 15 centimetres out from the line. Again from Ballon, good passing. Good distribution. Robson takes the tackle. And again, they're short. And four tackles have gone for Manley. Ballon finds Hall. Hall goes behind Cuthbertson. Glenn Stewart behind Menzies. Brett Stewart holds it back. Bell gives it on. David Williams scores for Manley. David Williams scores in the right-hand corner. Right on half-time. This is class football from a couple of really good outside backs in Brett Stewart and Stephen Bell. Menzies then, last to rise. Ball played, it's gone to Stewart. Stewart away to Robson, who goes back, and it's Brett Stewart. Now it's Steve Matai. Matai went straight through Reddy, got the ball away. Wing three-quarter, Robertson did very well to catch it. Watmo is over the line, is he held up? No, he's gonna point to the spot. Shane Hayne has awarded a try to Anthony Watmo. He had one turn down earlier, forward pass from Jamie Lyon, but this time Anthony Watmo has scored for Manly. And in the, in the end, again, it's very simple. From close range, through some tired Parramatta defence, the lead-up play was great. You're right, Gus, he's an improved player. They do improve when they come to Manly. That regime under Desi Hasler, Josh Perry, much improved player as well. And Chad Robinson. Now here's Glenn Stewart holding it back for his brother and then sweet passing for David Williams to score in the corner. Ah, oh, the Stewart brothers, they were magnificent. And David Williams goes in to score his second try of the night. And Finch is there with Hindmarsh, they put him down. Kalis goes in for a, a piece of the action. The Strange is on for Manley. Then he gets it to Menzies, lovely no-look pass to Watmo. There's more trouble for Parramatta, for Hain, and in goes Stephen Madai. Madai scores for Manly, try number five. A well, they're really rattling them together now. A lovely set piece. And again, playing on the laziness around the Parramatta mid-ruck area. Dummy half, Heath Lestrange, instrumental in engaging a couple of lazy defenders to allow these fellas to put their play together. And uh, they're not doing anything flash early. They're just building up something and then letting the professors of the artistic stuff, like this bloke, Brett Stewart, finish it off. And there's Matt Eye supporting. Robertson is there. And he's tackled 15 metres out from the line. They wanted razzle-dazzle. It's just that Manley's doing it. Lestrange now. Turning it in beautifully. To oh, have a look at that. Of the year, I thought Frank Pritchard held the crown. What about Brent Stewart? Brent Stewart, no look out the back, call it whatever you like. A Houdini pass. No, 
Oh, you can't do that. Unbelievable. No, 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 no. What's this? A little switch play and whoopsie, straight out the back, finds the mark. Matai takes it in. There's your razzle dazzle, baby. Uh, I think we struggled a bit in the first half. Um, we knew we had to come out in the second half and really put in a good performance and not lose too much structure. But, um, you know, they were first across. But, um, you know, full credit to our boys. We, we stuck in there and come home in the, in the back end. Now, we know you as an attacking, brilliant player. But what about the passes tonight, mate? That's something we haven't seen before. Yeah, no, nah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just something I've been working on at training. Um, obviously not that, that sort of one there. But I knew the winger was flying in and just wanted to get rid of it quick. And thankfully, Stevie Murray caught it and was over in the corner. Well, after seven consecutive victories, the Manly juggernaut came to a shuddering halt against the Chooks at the Sydney Football Stadium. Do we really have to sit through this one? Yes, just turn away from it. It won't be long. All right, then. Had a very good season. And Matt Ballon, I mentioned it last time we did a Manly game. He stepped up for Michael Monaghan. And he's doing his job well. Oh, Menzies hit hard. Ball got jolted. Roberts runs hard. Down the right side. Oh, he'll go all the way. Roberts there in again. Three tries for the Roosters. And we've only had 11 minutes. Tackle on Menzies. Forced the ball free. Getting a shot on him was oh, Cherrington. He blindsided him. Now from Ballon through Robson. On to Stewart. Away to Maddo. Good passing by Manley. And Robertson scored. He made that long run leading up to it. And Michael Robertson, the number two, has scored for Manly. Shillington. Way to the left for two. Oh, and Saliola scores. Saliola. Robson couldn't handle him. And uh, not many could. And took him ball and all. Was strange. He he was looking for a penalty. He throws the big dummy, and he's only two metres out from the line. Now it's with Ballon and gone on to Orford, and he goes behind a couple of forward decoys before finding Robson. And uh, coming up is uh, Amos Roberts. Roberts is away. There's a foot race on at the stadium. He's still going strong. Roberts. Stewart couldn't get him. Robertson comes at him. Roberts. He scores Amos. He didn't have to worry about passing this time to the referee. Five gone for the Roosters. Friend goes way back for Anasta. He puts a little kick in. It bounces beautifully for Stewart. And here's Stewart going straight down the middle of the ground. They're after him. Kenny Dows slowly getting to him. But Stewart, Brett Stewart, puts another try on the board. He's in excess of 80. OK, Beef, you can open your eyes now because we're about to check out the highlights of Manly's comfortable win against Penrith in round 21. Thanks, mate. Now, this one, that makes for better viewing. Brent Waterhouse played back to Matai, sweeps it back and away. Brett Stewart is up there. Matt Alford is with the ball. Little dummy, then a give to Glenn Stewart. Now it's away to Stephen Bell. David Williams outside him. Bell might make it. No, he's short. Five gone, Manly. Online defence, Penrith. OK so far. Alford, the kick across. And, oh, it's been put down by Lewis. And a try scored by Glenn Hall. Very strong in the legs. He's able to force his way under three tackles. Eight metres forward. Ben Menzies linking the... Here's Stephen Bell. He'll score. Tackler dropped off. Hainal point to the spot. No need for any investigation. And Bell scores for Manly. They lead 10 0 after 14. Wonderful ball work here by Glenn Stewart. We spoke about him before the game. He is a second receiver thinker. 12 out right in front of the Southern uprights. Ballon again. Menzies is there with it now. Menzies out the back. David Williams. Try number six at Brookie for the Wolfman. The evolution of Steve Menzies as a footballer who in his early career scored a lot of tries off the great Cliff Lyons. He was a great ball runner, instinctive player, but later in his career has the ability to hold the ball out in front, hold defenders off, and gives his best ball-playing exhibition there to give Williams a run to the line. 
The Premiership leaders are on fire at Brookvale tonight. And double trouble for the Panthers. Cut Cuthbertson on the field. Now, Cuthbertson gives them a lot of variation around the rucks. Takes a lot of pressure off Warford. Just keep an eye on him this next five to ten minutes. Well, Manly winning the scrum and going away out to their left-hand side. Stewart gets rid of a couple. Robertson down the left side. Very fast. They're not making any impression. Put away the glasses. Robertson scores. Manly's fourth try. Get on your bikes. Manly, 22-0 after 27. Lestrange with players in motion off the ball. And then Brett Stewart is... Hit by Blair, beat Bear, beat pull up two out. Play the ball, 15 out from the line. Lestrange, Orford, short, Menzies, he's gonna make it. Menzies does it again. What a freak of a footballer. What a freak of a try score. Second most tries scored in Premiership history, and he's a forward. Yeah, sure, he's wearing the six tonight, but you don't need to be told most of his career has been back row. Kite will play the ball. Ten away from the Penrith line. The strangest pass good this time. Off its kick, and Brett Stewart has scored! Oh, the, uh, the hands! The hands of a surgeon! Magic Brett man. Stewart! I told you he wouldn't let it go three weeks without a try at Brookie. Well, he made that look so easy. Well, they look nonchalant. I love it. Class and the attack of arrogance. How good is it? After easily accounting for the Penny Panthers, our next opponent was a much bigger hurdle to overcome. Brookville over was packed to the rafters, but alas, we just couldn't get the desired result. 11 metres away from the Manly line. We play the ball back for Cameron Smith, who dummies open. Go! Oh, what a shot from Matai! Matai hammering Cameron Smith. Goes back to Kronk and the kick is neat and it's a cross to Falau. The bat down comes to Matai and he will play the ball for Manly 10 metres out from his line. Your man Steve Matai, look at that, Kabang. A massive hit in the early stages of the game, signalling Manly's intent to play this one physical. Good shot. It's all now there's a play in that play. They go in from several quarters and immediately it's quenched. Well, a lot of feeling in this one. Michael Crocker, remember the grand final last year, a big shot on Stewart. Merely a fine some shots at, at Crocker in the build-up. Let's have a look at this. Crocker comes in. Nothing in that so far. Brent Kite, this has got up and Leicester, and the boys are into it. Blowing off a little bit of steam, Gus. And Hoffman will play the ball. The everywhere man. 42 metres out from the Manly line. It's gone away to Cronk and inside. Here is Slater. Down the left side goes Slater. Got it to old Matty Geyer. And the veteran goes in to score. As it goes to Bell, the former Melbourneian who left at the wrong time. Melbourne, I mean. Orford puts a kick in, and you could say ditto for him. Here's Slater raking it down, it's a try for Manly! The Prince of Manly has gone over to score, I fancy. They're looking at Stewart knocking Quinn over. But Quinn's in it, you know, you can't get out of the way, that's OK. Yeah, absolutely. It does nothing to Slater, who drops the ball. Stewart doesn't touch Slater. That's a try. You're tempted to think that... Quinn has moved into a position to put himself in the road of the approach from Stewart. It's no try penalty. It's no try penalty. Well, that's that is a disgrace. My God. Tap taken by Ballard. Brent Kite looking at them, saying, "Come and get me. You've wanted me all night. Here I am again." Surging and putting the ball down. Now they're going to examine another manly attempt to try. Glenn Hall is very, very confident. 
Well, if they don't give this one, I don't think the referees will get out of here alive. Hall down before the line, but gets it down the second time. That is a try to Manly. Justice has been served. You can tell Melbourne weren't expecting this rush defence from the Manly side. It's really getting under their game. Here's up, Crump with a little kick, looking for Slater, finding Slater. Slater finds Falau. Falau will gallop away and score. A brilliant try for Melbourne. And Manu is held by Dallin and Williamson. They sweep it away to the right. Crump showed it inside. Menzies tried to shut the gate, but the gate came open. And Cooper Crump gets Melbourne's try, their third of the night. Down the Pitwater Road, end of the ground. Glenn Stewart, but he might have got a penalty. Wide ball for uh, Perry. It's gone away to Orford. It's with Brett Stewart. He goes infield for Steve Maddoy. Maddoy so close. Full tackle in the field of play. So a slow play the ball. Ballon for Orford. Orford back behind Perry. Going to Glenn Stewart. Second man behind Bell. Finds Menzies. Menzies for David Williams. for the Seagulls. Three metres out on four. Menzies again. Now for Orford. Short ball. What ball? Now for Kite. Now very wide, the prop forward. Now Medai puts a kick in. He dives for the ball, but it came off Melbourne and went dead. Oh, I thought he was going to get there. And Slater coming. Come from nowhere, out of the blue. As Perry plays the ball, the strange Orford, Orford, Stewart, Stewart, Bell, Bell, taken down, got the ball away to Stewart, goes across to Cuthbertson, it goes to Brent Kite, he throws the ball back, no knock on, goes to Orford, flings it across to the eastern side, Robertson's got the ball for Manley, he puts it out there, Cuthbertson's got the ball, he's lost it, it comes down to Melbourne, and that is, thank you linesman, thank you ball boys. The Lau, the last man tackled. What a fantastic game of football. Melbourne winning the grand final replay. 16 over Manly 10. And only the second time Melbourne have won at Brookvale, the last time 1999. Without a doubt, that was the most physical and intense game we played all year. Yeah, most of the boys were pretty sore and sorry for quite a few days after that. And it had nothing to do with the bowel cancer checkups you saw me doing on the footy show. But one thing, one thing's for sure, we came away from that game knowing that Melbourne were far from unbeatable. And if we picked up our act a little bit, you know, I thought we could get them next time. Yeah, that's right. Well, it didn't quite help us against South the following weekend, did it? just inside the 10 metre line with Glenn Stewart out wide they go to the right side again for Bell and he's over the line lying on his back I fancy he's reached out and planted it Stephen Bell will stand up he's really finding some form now in scoring try Steve Bell a little bit quiet early in the season the 10 is off for the Rabbitohs their captain Roy Asatasi as Brett Stewart steams through an opening he's away you couldn't really call it a foot race, he's out. Craig Wing is after him. But the try scoring machine from Manly runs 75 metres to put it down under the bar at the northern end. And to be honest, it's against the run of play. Tawanoa playing the ball. And then Manakafora was acting as the link and Sando gets underneath him and goes through. Looks for support. He finds Merritt again. Nathan Merritt goes through and scores another one. And Glenn Stewart to play it. For Ballum again. A couple of decoys on the left side. Offered away for Stewart. Here's Menzies for the corner. And Menzies plants it in for another try. Uh, Falloon on, on there still in jumper number 14. It's gone quickly along the line out to Falongo. And Falongo tries to break through, almost succeeds. And eventually the ball comes down to Manley. It's with Matai who pinched the ball. And away goes Manley's fullback. Here's try 85. 
Brett Stewart scores his second of the day. Meow. There he goes again. Hall is allowed to play on. Manley, likewise, Lestrange. Then Orford inside Watmo. A big fend. He throws it out the back. This is a try, I think, for Menzies. That's four. I'm gonna say I've got a feeling this is a try for Steve right. Menzies. Yeah, it's a pass. A there, it's a pass that went four. backwards. Came off a South Sydney player's boot. To Steve Menzies. Five gone for South. Sando deep. Here he is. And he puts a little kick in, he's after it, the bounce, the bounce is all important. It's still there and a chance for the Rabbits. 15 out from the Manly line. As it goes out to Wing and Wing's passes to ground. Did it get touched? Referee said no. Simpson puts in a little kick. Was Roy Asatasi onside? If he yes. was, it's a try. He's going to... No, I thought he was going to... Oh, play it. He, he was. You can't do that, Steve Lyons, but... I think Matty his man it. upstairs, Matty, Steve Matty. Clark, will find Roy Asatasi, the man with the ball, was behind the kicker. But 40 plays 26. 14 points in it now. It was 22 to 10 at half time. Perry couldn't take it. It's on the ground. And he, why wouldn't he go on and touch the ball and actually force it? In fact, he's looking at it now. Well, that's a knock-on. There's people out there asking questions. Steve Lyons is one of them. That's a knock-on. Looks like a rugby league knock-on. That's a knock-on. OK, he, Phil? He's going to go back to a ref's call, and the ref's already sent it up to him, so... That's funny, it's a try, Phil. Well, I can't believe that. That's funny, Phil, it's a try. Well, it's not funny, it's tragic. It's a knock-on. <laughs> no, but it does prove that there are two points of view in a democracy. You're entitled to have an opinion. Yeah, it's just that other people are wrong. That was a pretty ordinary show by the boys, but you know what, Will I? What's that, mate? That's going to be the last time that we get beaten in 2008. You little ripper. Quick play the ball. Ballon, flat pass this time for Perry. Morris was there to stop him, though. Still hey, going, he's Perry. Just he's only about a half metre short when he plays it. Back to Ballon. Here's Orford. Looking for a kick once again. This time there'll be no mistake, and guess who? <laughs> Brett Stewart is there to grab yet another try. He gets the first one here tonight. Manly are on the board. They lead the Tigers 4 0. And they have looked dangerous in their last couple of sets. In defense. He takes it down within eight of the Tigers line. Ballon at dummy half, waiting for it. As Perry on his outside, shows it to him, goes to Warford instead, another second man play. Brett Stewart, early ball for Robinson, with his speed, he goes for the corner. A lovely play mate, by the Seagulls. The put down in the corner post, mate, thank you. Ro early in the game, Robbie Farris slicing through the Manly defence, had no one with him. They bombed a try when Tuiaki was throwing a poor pass from Benji Marshall. And on that one, Menz, he's got a ball from Cuthbert, and he came to Hudson, and he'll win the race to the corner. Another try for the Beaver. And it extends this lead for Manly. What a lovely ball by Cuthbertson. Yeah, there's Luke Williamson, obviously a leg injury. Coming off the bench tonight, he's been replaced by this man, Glenn Hall, who he took the place off midway through the first half. Ballon back on the inside, good tackle. Harrison on Glenn, on rather Glenn Stewart made the tackle. Here is Glenn Hall. Flat pass from dummy half. The Tigers came up quickly. And they score a try through the unlikely shape of Glenn Hall that blows the game open. 20 points to six. Across the line again tonight already. Scored four tries in their last four games. It's a shame it's all ending at the end of 2008, isn't it? And any surprise from the man that scored a thousand tries anyway? Not really, but... It's a shame we're losing him. It is. It Here's is. Cuthbertson. He's still got plenty to add. Now Watmo standing in the tackle. They're booting defenders suddenly. Worrying signs for the Tigers. Here's Matai going towards Hodgson. who picked him off one-on-one. -on -one. But they're standing there offloading. They are breaking tackles. Here's Brett Stewart. Showing it, showing it. He'll go all the way himself. 
He got it down, the fullback gets his second try of the night. 87 now in his career. Working up towards the 40 meter line, Brian popping the ball out the back, Orford linking up with Stewart. Here we go again, Menzies is there, Stewart beats Hodgson, Menzies is looking, he gets the ball, go Beaver, go! What a run, what a catch, and what a try. Some greats of Seagulls history linking up once again, Stewart who will be a great the man who will have a grandstand named after him Steve Beaver Menzies gets another one well they're killing them with the offloads great ball from Matt Orford there when you looked at the, at the table and, and the games coming up last year they had the best of it now Orford kicking in behind them some pressure here on Ryan it bounced away from him he was knocked to the ground there by Williamson it's play on the call good kick by Orford Bell plays it here's Glenn Stewart at the 10 metre line. Gives it off to Glenn Hall looking for a double. He bounces away from the first defenders and gets across the line. Can you believe that? Two tries to Glenn Hall and they are just toying with them. 36 points to six. Looking for yet another try. Menzies is there stopped by Dane Laurie. Might have lost the ball. No, he didn't, they say. Back to the right-hand side, Orford. Marshall looking for an intercept. Stewart gives away to Stephen Bell, and they're in once again. They had the shot on the right-hand side, then the left-hand side. They came back to the right, and the points just keep ticking over for the Seagulls. 42-6. to six. Gee, that was a good ball by Matty Orford. 73 minutes gone, 42 points to 12. Ballon... Again, a dummy half, showing it a couple of times, running a long way before he gives it off to Glenn Stewart. Back on the inside, the Tigers crack again. Inside balls are their nemesis. Big men coming back on the angle with a bit of footwork. They always struggle against them, and again, it was pretty simple, wasn't it, Stewart? Well, that was certainly a night of mixed emotions for the two of us. For the Beaver, you had an absolute blinder. But for poor old Cougar, that was to be his final appearance in the Maroon and White. Yeah, that was terrible luck, mate. Tearing a hamstring on the eve of the finals there. I felt sorry for you. Yeah, thanks, mate. But, uh, you know, that's just football, I suppose. And it gave me enough time to concentrate on organising your tribute dinner. And what a gala occasion it was. Well, tonight is a celebration of Steve's achievements. And we see no more fitting honour than to create a lasting legacy of the man who has spent his whole career with our wonderful club. It gives me great pleasure tonight to announce that as of now, the Southern Stand at Brookvale Oval will be renamed the Fulton Menzies Stand as of today. It's, um, I don't know, that's, that's, I'm a bit speechless here, that's, um, such a, such a great honour, um, even to be put in the same, the same, the same sentence as Bob Fulton, an immortal, um, and to be honoured like this by the Manly Club, um, that's, that's blown me away, I just, Honestly, I can't say enough. I just thank the Manly Club and um, I think it's the best club in the world. Thank you. Great stuff, Beef. Yeah, what a top night. Mate, and there was also plenty of emotion to come a week later when you ran out for your last official game at Brookvale Oval. The boys and girls from Harbord United for the Guard of Honour for Steve Beaver Menzies. A standing ovation from the Brookvale faithful. And we'll see if they can get another 
moment, a beaver moment to be talking about after the game tonight. You said he's been in try scoring form. Wouldn't it be great if he can get across the line oh, here tonight? Oh, won't they go off the Manly crowd if he gets across the line for a try? He stopped there by Friend, eventually. And also Matthews. Ballon showing it is Stewart. This form he's been in in recent times. Playing as a second 5-8 if you like. Orford gets a wide pass. Ball back on the inside for one. No. Beating defenders. Dumping one out the back for Glenn Hall. He's across the line this time. There's no drama. He slams the ball down. Ballon waits at dummy half. Hall. A bit of ball playing from Stewart to Matai for the corner. He'll reach out and he got there as well. One more play coming up here. Bryant it is at dummy half. He goes to Warford. Down the short side. He kicks it into the head of Scott Prince. He bounces up for what though? Still the last play. Brett Stewart. What a piece of luck for Manley. <laughs> Off the head of Scott Prince. Back to Watmo, and Brett Stewart has scored some remarkable tries, but there's been nothing to match that here at Brookvale. No, that was a strange one. That was certainly different, that. You know, the Titans now having to do it the hard way from inside their own 20. Well, after a couple of ordinary sets, that was better from Matt Orford. Didn't wait for the fifth tackle, wait until he was under pressure, kicked on the fourth, and got a good one. Oh, Jeffrey was just asking to be cleaned up by somebody, and it was Watmo who obliged him. So you're not going to do a fox trot across the defensive line like that without copping his shoulder and oh, oh, clean him up. Yeah. Turns it back on for Brent Kites to play it just outside the Gold Coast 10. Here he is, Orford, beating one tackle. Coming out quickly, they couldn't shut it down. Matai, as a result, will go to the line and gets it to grab his second four-pointer of the night. It's a touching goal, please. Against the side by half a metre in from it. He hits it pretty well. Has it got the legs? It does. Great kick by the captain. 20 metres out from the Titans line. Awful. Rubbering. Looking for Watmo. Who else? A kick and a bounce and a flexion for Brent Kite. They're in again. They are celebrating now, these Manly fans. And importantly... They are opening up a gap for and against Wise on the Melbourne Storm. Now, there'll be a celebration tonight, won't there? And he's getting a sensational hand, as you'd expect, from the best part of 15,000 people who made their way to Brookvale Oval tonight to pay their respects to what is now 345 games in the career of Steve Menzies. Obviously, that was my last regular season home game, but I also knew I'd be having one more outing at Brookie in the first week of the finals. Before that, though, we had one last chance to grab the minor premiership and needed to have a big win at Penrith because it was all going to come down to for and against between us and Melbourne. Just inside the Panthers' 10, here's Orford again, giving it to Stewart, second man play for Menzies! On the outside there of Jennings, he runs to the line and scores. And the mistake by Waterhouse certainly does hurt the Panthers. Ballon. Tight charging at them. Socks down around his ankles. Picked off there in a good tackle. Nathan Smith in some headgear now as Orford goes to Steve Bell. He saw a gap and went straight through it. Stewart and Menzies are both there. It goes to Williams though and for the corner. He will beat Wessa, and Manly suddenly have a lead. Here is Rooney playing at five on his own side of halfway. Yeah, there's been no indication by the Panthers that they are ready to, to give up. That has been the case in some of their matches. 30 to 4, though, down against the. Oh, Williams! He gets an intercept, and they won't stop him. A terrible ball. The Wolfman runs away. He can scarcely believe his luck. Now it's opened up. He gets back to back tries. Tony Pulitura is out there, so is Luke Pritis, and both involved in the tackle. His line at first receiver, turning it back on the inside for Glenn Stewart, who gets across the line. They crack on just play number two. And Manley again extend the lead back out to six. 13 minutes into this second half, the first time Manley have had an opportunity down this end of the field. Jamie Lyon 
Just turns it back on the inside. Here's Perry. Outside the 20, Orford. Showing it on the inside there for Tuffers. And again for Kite. He gives it to Watmo. He tries to use that right fan. He got away from Seven Receiver, in fact. Critis came again, though, to stop him. Eight metres away. It goes to Jamie Lyon. Here's Glenn Stewart on the wraparound to Lyon. Second man ball. On the sweep, it's Stewart. It's clinical. How many times have you seen it? But Brett Stewart dives in. They put a real gap now between the Sea Eagles and the Panthers. Ah, he completely lost his bearings on that occasion. They know at the moment they are number one. They certainly will be in the top position, Manly. Going down to the final game of the season. We'll wait and see what the Storm can do against the Rabbitohs. Again, you will see live and exclusive on Fox Sports tomorrow night. Sunday night football. Should be a good way to win the season, huh? Well, race for the minor premiership. As you said, here come Manly Bell. Steve Bell, they'll have more to chase now, Melbourne. Bell dives in. And the lead over the storm is now 24. In a moment, it will be 26. Well, can that be the try that gets them the minor premiership? Terrific ball, Jamie Lyon. We'll have a look at it in a minute, but... He broke the line and then a good little one-handed offload to Steve Bell. Isn't it good to see Jamie Lyon, the little dummy that kept Jennings outside and Bell slices through. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough for us to claim the JJ Gilman Shield because the storm blew the bunnies away 24 hours later and we had to settle for second spot. Round 26, Billy Slater against the Rabbitohs, one point. Matt Orford against the Panthers, no points. Cameron Smith also against the Rabbitohs, no points. Which makes Matt Orford from the Manly Seagulls the 2008 Dally M medal winner. However, the disappointment soon turns to elation when our little general, Matty Orford, deservedly collected the 2008 Dally M award for being the NRL's best player of the season. And our other Matt, Matt Ballon, he scored an even bigger individual honour when he was named the sexiest man in league. But to do so, he had to be in a pretty off field, obviously, you know, that included ourselves. Yeah, and I still don't know how he got the nod ahead of blokes like Hawley, Cuthbo, Boxy, Boxhead, Boxy, and the King Dog. Yeah, that's amazing. Anyway, let's get back to some serious stuff and have a look at the qualifying final against the George Illawarra. Now, that was a great night. Stephen Bell is undergoing an examination from the trainers. He went out there and was only there a matter of seconds, and then they replaced him with Steve Menzies. So the Dragons winning the scrum, and it's a run around between lock forward and half back. Charged down by Menzies! Oh, he's well out on his own! There's no defenders! I think he knocked on! Menzies appeals for a try, but did he knock on? This will bring the house down if it's given. He's smiling. I just thought for a moment he might have got a hand or an arm on it. Let's see what happens when he falls. He trips. The beam is down. The ball's in front. It hits him in the head. Oh, it's a That's play on. Oh, but did it brush his hand? I think it's play on. I think it's play on. Beamer, get it down. He's got it down. Oh, his last game of Brook by Oval. Well, what a moment. Ben Rogers kick charge down. And then Menzies. It's a try, all right. The Brookvale faithful. The fortress is standing. Man. Have a look at them. Loving it. Well, here it is again at normal speed. And eventually. <laughs> the Beaver. And he plays the ball, still three metres away. Brett Stewart thinks about having a go himself, and he's claimed by Josh Morris. In back play, there's a little bit of a blue. Offer throws a pass, Robertson. Robertson goes for the corner, and has he got it down? Well, I hope he has, because it's brilliant work by the halfback, Matty Orford. 
We saw him rush back to the short blind side in, earlier in this half, and he dropped the ball. This was what he was looking for. Around he comes, Robertson for the corner. That's a try. They can't take that one off him. And now Orford from the sideline. It looks good. He's got it. And Glenn will play the ball, 14 to 6 Manly. Bryant running inside the 20 metre line. He's off next year to a new side in English Super League. As Ballon goes to Orford, he goes back inside for Brett Stewart. And it's with Anthony Watmo. He might do it. Yes, he has. Anthony Watmo has scored almost on the stroke of half time. Oh, yeah, a sense of timing. How did Brett Stewart get rid of this pass? I didn't see it. And all of a sudden, Watno was heading towards the line. Stewart hit the ball at such pace, I thought he was going to come out the other side and score himself. Almost to the Dragons' 30-metre line. This is the last tackle for Manley. And Orford gets his kick in. Morris underneath that. Oh, Brett Stewart has scored! Brett Stewart scores try number 90. The wizard, the magician from Manly has given the fans what they wanted tonight. In spades, Menzies firstly and Stewart secondly. It has capped off at this time a wonderful night for them. I think it's the full back, it is. Right side, Orford, off his right foot a couple of times. Two metres out now and tackle five. Tackled by Jason Ryle. Lestrange, a little kick in. They might have done it. I think Stewart might have got a hand on it. I think the number one might have done it again. And I think Stewart would give it to Lestrange. He put the kick in and Heath doesn't get that many. Stewart gets plenty. Give it to Lestrange. That's a manly try. They can work it out later who scored it. It's a try. Have a look at this. Right, who's got the try? Right up. Paper, scissors, right. Let's do it. Right up. One, two, three. One, two. Ah, oh, look at that. The Heathless change was filthy. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the Dragons. Here's Lestrange showing it. Giving it to Stewart. Giving it to Williams. And the Wolfman. The Wolfman was there this time. This is brilliant dummy half play by Heath Lestrange. Now, the rock, paper, scissors might have cost him a try a moment ago, but he's just had a big hand in this one. Wonderful dummy half play. He stops and goes three times to create the overlap. Oh, it's a, it's a full moon, all right. It's a full moon. There he is, the wolf man. Our man. He's had a terrific season. And it was great play from Lestrange, as Gus said. And he just howls at the full moon. Look at that. His hair is perfect. Beautiful. Season's over for these boys. They get to ponder another off-season's hard work and preparation for a new year. And here's a kick through by Watmo. Leads the chase. Leads the chase. Hornby makes it back. Try Manley. Try Manley. Scored by Josh Perry. The crowd are starting to rev up. He's not going to get silence. They're going to they're going to pump away with the Beaver Beaver. As the great Steve Menzies, prolific try scorer, lines up for his farewell kick at goal. It's a pretty ordinary looking run up. He's taken no time. He's smiling. That's never a good sign. Hits it. Oh, he's hooked it badly, Beaver. You needed a little bit of fade. Resounding victory for the Eagles. 38 to 6. Honestly, mate, how many farewells and laps of honour did you have? I suppose I did have quite a few in the end, but really, the main thing for me was just being able to say thanks to all those fantastic Manly fans that have supported me 
over the past 16 seasons. Well, while you do another lap of honour, let's relive our big victory over the Warriors in the grand final qualifier. Manly with a tremendous opportunity for Kite. But again, it's strong online defence from the Warriors. Now for Orford, and here is Stewart scoring his 91st try. Seven tries in his last five games coming into it. That is his 91st try in 111 games. Well, we saw Cooper Cronk put it on the in the right position for Israel Folau last night. Matt Orford has done the same for Brett Stewart in this instance. When Stewart scored, Manley had by far and away the better of it. Now it's away to Orford. What no run a decoy. Stewart got it away. Manley got it on. Robertson for the corner. But McKinnon snaps him. And Manley is injured in back play. It comes from Watmo. Goes to Orford. It's gone to Bryant. Got a miracle ball out to Orford. On the line, on to Stewart, on to Menzies. And that's why, that is why, he's the second highest try scorer in rugby league history. He puts himself on the back end so many times and then he finds this golden area in behind the try line. There's the Bieber without the headgear. Short for Watmo. A challenge from Manly. Out goes Watmo. Leaps with Matai. Matai gets it back. Robertson pirouettes. 25 away from the line. Tackled by Rapira. Danger, danger, danger. Ballon to the 20. To the middle, behind one, to Lyon, inside ball, Menzies, Menzies gets it on, Orford, Watmo, a back, and then a freak, he's ball by Stewart for Maddai, and Stephen Maddai puts it over the line, they're going to investigate, but I think Manly have got their third try. That's just too good, that is too good, wow. In a big final, this is to go through to the grand final folks. And we'll just do a little bit of Harlem Globetrotters there and put Matt Eye in for the try. That's amazing. And now it's Ballon, short side play. No, he decides to take it himself up through the middle between the markers who were splitting and Logan Swan made the tackle. Now Jamie Lyon, who goes up. Up goes McKinnon, up goes Jamie, gets it away for Orford. And Orford, would you believe, has scored. Their fourth try, Jamie Lyon, magnificent. And the contest will have many new faces compared to last year. Lyon, Glenn Stewart will score for Manly. Try number five. <laughs> new Zealand are rocking and rolling now. The peninsula, it just moved. Well, he's having a night, Jamie Lyon. Been in two beaten grand final teams, Parramatta back in 2001. And, of course, Manly last year. Lovely ball on the fringe to Glenn Stewart. Stewart has played some 5-8 through this season. Grand final day coverage uh, tomorrow week on 9. Again, live and exclusive. Early kick starts, from Orford, sorry, Ray. It starts at 11. And here's a chase on McKinnon. Reaping a harvest. Oh, that's exactly what you're talking about. That is exactly what the coach would want. And now that we've got to the second last weekend, it looks as though they're proving it beyond all doubt. And it's going to come down to them as a test for the title. Oh, good work by Lestrange and Menzies, and now it's out to Matai. Matai gets it away. The fine Michael Robertson. Here comes the defence. It'll be too late. They take an air swing. And Michael Robertson has scored Manley's sixth try of the night. There's Matt Alino tackle. What's the story on Matt Orford, Laurie Daly? Yeah, he's hurt his left ankle in that tackle, but they don't believe it's too serious. I think they've just taken him off for precautionary measures. Glenn Stewart, OK? Yeah, he's fine. All right, so it's Ohio who puts up a skyscraper. And it's taken by... David Williams. He beats Riccardi. He then basically shovels Ohio 
Out to the 30 metre line. Gee, he's a good player. What a fall it is. Watmo. Now Matai beats Tate with a left arm send and then he goes into space. Matai in a brave performance. He finds Brett Stewart. Stewart's heading for the corner. He'll make it. He scores again. His second try of the night. Try 92 for Mr Magic. Well, a bit of magic from Steve Matai as well. A noted defender, but this year his footwork has been a real feature of his game. The attacking part of his play has really come out. And he did very, very well here. Got through, somehow slipped the pass to Brett Stewart. What a great job he's done. Merely were gone, dead and buried five years ago. No club. Max Del Mage, Des Hasler, and a, a host of Merely faithful have held it all together and got them back. And, now two grand finals in a row. They're 80 minutes away from maybe a victory lap. 87 and 96, he played in winning grand final sides as he played 287 first grade games. The siren is there. Manly are into the grand final. It is exit for New Zealand Warriors at the back of a tremendous season for them and for their under 20s. But for Manly, they will revisit ANZ Stadium, the Olympic Stadium, and have another shot at the defending Premier's Melbourne. Just one game to go now, and what a game it was. Certainly a day I'll remember for the rest of my life, although the week after, still a little bit hazy. Yeah, boo. Oh, celebrations weren't too bad, were they? Well, let's go relive that magic day then, eh? Let's have a look whether there's a knee that denies him from Greg Inglis. No, he's got it down. The point of the football. First. Mate, that is the best feeling in the world. Mate, I can't describe it. Just, that's, my, that's made my year, mate. <laughs> the greatest moment in your career, mate. Yeah, mate, this is what we've worked hard for. It's been 12 months, and uh, we're lucky enough to get another opportunity tonight. And uh, I think all we come up, we worked hard. What about this, Des? Yeah, that And the way we did what happened last year and to come out and turn it around like that, it's um, so much hard work the boys have done unbelievable. Oh, she did a fair bit better than last year, mate. It, uh, it was terrible last year, you know, it took me months to get over. And uh, yeah, just glad it's a bit of a consolation today. Oh, mate, you can never dream of something so... Oh, so amazing, I suppose, you got to say, but, mate, to come here and score 40 points and, and win a GF is just... I'm already starting to lose my voice. How good was that victory lap, Dave? Unbelievable. That's what you dream about as a kid. And to share that moment with good mates like the Cougar makes it even more special. Mate, you could just keep going round and round and round, couldn't you? Pretty much. Well, Boo, these last seven years have been an absolute pleasure. I think next time we meet, we'll be on the other side of the world, playing in the English Super League. Thanks for the memories, mate. Thank you.